Time for our Dairy Queen fan poll. We want you to be a part of it, so go. We can see the live results right now to btn.com slash vote. And tell us, of the Big Ten undefeated teams, which head coach has done the best job? Robert, you give us your answer. DJ Durkin at Maryland. You were just ripping on their schedule. Though. I know I was ripping on their schedule, but we were talking about the performance, especially the defensive performance, in relation to what a team had done previously, holding Purdue to 220 yards below the season average. But forget all that for a moment. Let's go all the way back to one of the first decisions that DJ Durkin made, and that was to hire the offensive coordinator, Walt Bell. Mm -hmm. Talking about a 32-year-old <laughs> kid here. Now, Lincoln Riley, out there at Oklahoma, he's another one of those young coordinators. But it says something. When you're a head coach and you make a decision to bring in an offensive coordinator that was only 31 years old at the time, it says that you see something. So it's a great it was a great decision for this team. Clearly, it's paid dividends with the way that this offense has performed. And the defense, because of DJ Durkin's stamp, because of his experience as a defensive coordinator, they have been tremendous. So it's the most impressive job to me so far. The main competition, according to the fans, for Durkin is Mike Riley. And there's a good case to be made, right? His quarterback turned the ball over way too much last year, and that has been cut down dramatically. They're running the ball very well. They've played a good team. Maybe Oregon's not the Oregon no, I, was getting, I was getting ready to say, the Oregon win is somewhat counterfeited by what we've seen from Oregon in other games. Right. But it's still it's, not I, Howard. Hey. Hey, absolutely. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm still impressed. I'm just more impressed with DJ Durkin. All of the undefeated coaches are doing a great job with the teams sure. that they have. I just believe that DJ Durkin has done the best. If you had to pick between the other two guys we haven't talked about yet, Harbaugh or Urban, right now, who's done the better job? Well, I think it's Urban, and just because of what he had coming back, 128 out of 128 teams in the nation in experience. This is the least experienced team in all of FBS. And to be able to go out and perform the way that these guys have so, says a lot about the way that he runs his program. And that leaves only one coach we haven't talked about yet, and that is Jim Harbaugh. And you can't ask for that much more. I mean, he is still undefeated. He's got a first-time starting quarterback in that position. Spate's done, I think, better than most people thought he would. They're running. Their defense, we, we, we've we been able to see they can score a lot of points. We also saw this weekend they can win a low score. He's now. also been the most entertaining coach in all of college football. So forget about just the Big Ten and the undefeated we'll coaches. The He's been very entertaining and talking that. about... Just Birds and worms and <laughs> machine right. guns, Freddie P. Soft, all kinds of things. So he's been very entertaining, but with what he had coming back, it's not a, it's not too surprising that they perform the way that they have because defensively they've been very good, but offensively, quite frankly, they haven't lived up to their own standards or their own expectations. So I can't say that he's doing the best out of all those coaches. Well, the fans can say that Mike Riley he's is doing last. the best of those four. Mike Riley, number one. Right there. Yeah, technically urban. Hey, it's, it's not done yet. Voting's still going. No, on. no, we're done. No more voting. You're done.